More than 128,000 people received a dose of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccination this week as the United States began to deploy shots across the nation. 12 News Deja Risco has the story on the vaccine and why some are still skeptical. skeptical. She joins us live in Jackson, Deidre. Mississippi has received 25,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine. This comes on the heels of the country coming to a record number of deaths of 300,000 people. But many people, now that the vaccine is here, many people are skeptical about what is to come. Doctors demonstrated their belief in the vaccine by being one of the first groups to take it. They hope the display of confidence will encourage you to join in. But some still don't buy it. They think the vaccine was developed too quickly. When I take a flu shot, it makes me sick. So I would think that it would do the same. I would think it would have the same impression, you know? Doctors say the COVID-19 vaccine would not have the same impression as the flu virus because its development was different. And that's part of the reason it was developed so fast. This messenger RNA technology that they use with the coronavirus vaccine, they were able to do it a lot faster because they didn't have to go through all the steps of creating, you know, the uh, virus and growing the virus and then inactivating the virus. You just went straight to the messenger RNA. The doctor says he isn't worried about the fast development of the vaccine, crediting better technology. Friday, federal regulators also gave emergency approval of the Moderna vaccine. There's a primary dose, and then three weeks later, you take the second dose. The second dose is the same ingredient as the first dose, but what it does is it gives your body a chance to build even more antibodies to increase your immune response so you have even better protection, so you can achieve that 95%. Effective rate. With the Moderna vaccine, the second dose is required in four weeks versus the Pfizer second dose required three weeks after the first. The doctor says it's going to take a number of months before we start seeing enough people immunized with this vaccination, but they are assuring this is the beginning of the end. Predictions say 60 to 80 percent of the population need to be vaccinated in order to achieve herd immunity. The vaccine is now approved for people ages 16 and older, but is still in emergency use and not yet available to the public. Reporting in Jackson, Mississippi, Deidre Briscoe, 12 News.